They're all the rage now, actually. So, uh, A.J. McCarron, and the guy hasn't made a mistake all year throwing interceptions. What do you guys think you can do to get him to throw that first pick? Uh, you know, we're going to try to just get out there, execute, get in his head, you know, show him a bunch of different looks, you know, bring pressure, drop a bunch of guys, you know, change it up on him. He's a smart quarterback, and, uh, you know, we're going to have to bring our game to uh, – to get him, get him mixed up. How good is that offensive line? I know Barrett Jones is now at center, I guess, kind of angering him. They don't, they don't you know, they felt the crack. Definitely. They're, I mean, they're solid up front and they're solid in the backfield. And, you know, if you got a good offensive line, good running backs, I mean, it can be a mean combination. But, you know, we got a, we got a good defense too, so it's going to be fun. Ken, just talk about the atmosphere around campus, talking to fans, talking to students about the game. It's been huge. You know, I was walking to class today, you know, people come up to me, you know, good game, you know, good luck this Saturday. And, you know, it just feels good having that kind of support from, from your fan base. I know you're, you want to treat this week like any other. Is it kind of hard to, though, in a sense? Uh, you know, yeah, you, you say you want to treat it like every other week, but, you know, we're stepping our game up and, uh, you know, we're hyped, we're excited. I, I know today, you know, just walking around, all the guys, you know, got a glow in their eye, you know, they're ready for some action. So it's, it's going to be fun. I know today's practice will be good. Forgetting about the whole business aspect for a second, are you just more excited to play this game? Oh, no doubt. Uh, you know, I always get hype about big time games. You know, they're a top ranked opponent. You know, we're, we're a top ranked team. And it's just fun. You know, uh, you know, I'm, co I'm a competitive guy. You know, go going against the best competition, you know, it's just, you know, it gets me fired up. Chris Wilson said in games past, you guys have kind of tried to look at what other teams do well, focus on that. Alabama, do you, is there one you pick or do you just worry about everything? Uh, you know, I hadn't got in the film room much on. I swear I'm, I'm about to go as soon as I leave here. But, uh, you know, I'm not real sure. I know the coaches, they'll have, they'll have a good scheme, a uh, good game plan for them, and they'll teach us everything we need to know, and we'll go out and just execute that that plan. Now you had an interception last year on them. Uh, so, you know, I guess you forced mistakes from A.J. before. It's, it's not easy, but how can you do it? Uh, you know, just, just doing the routine things right. And, uh, you know, if you're out there just trying to play, you know, not being selfish, trying to play for everybody else, trying to get the win, you know, Good things happen, you know, good things will come your way. And, you know, that's kind of just what I was doing last year. And having been in the right place at the right time, you know, just doing my job and, and good thing, a good thing happened. Try to get in the end zone this year. I know you Absolutely. beat yourself up at you're, you're like the eighth person that said something <laughs> about that day. You know, that still eats at me, you know, so that's going to be a little extra motivation for me. But, you know, it just adds to the chip on my shoulder. How much has your offense helped you all this year as far as them staying on the field? cranking out drives and getting points. How much has that helped you? That's, that's been huge. I was actually talking to Tyler today. You know, we were in the uh, training room, and I was like, man, y'all are controlling the game so much. You keep our defense off the field. Don't let us get as many tackles as we had last year. But, you know, I was like, you know, I'm joking with him. But in a sense, you know, that's good. You know, I mean, our defense loves it. You know, the first play, I mean, the first quarter, you know, I think I only played three snaps, and we put our twos in for the one drive. So, I mean, that's good. If your offense is controlling the game, Controlling the ball that, that long, you know, that's always a good thing. Have Talking you noticed about, that in the fourth quarter of the games? Can you notice that you're fresher? Because absolutely. I've noticed it on, like, Sundays, the day after games. Like, I'm not as sore, you know, as playing 80, you know, 80 snaps a game. You know, it's just – it's good for the longevity, the health of, health of our defense. Do you think that's going to be what the difference is this year for you to be able to pull off an upset against an LSU or Alabama? Because you guys have been in those games, but – just wear down the fourth quarter the last couple of years. No doubt. Uh, you know, and another thing, we've got depth this year. That's been something that's hurt us last year. But, you know, our offense, you know, controlling the game is, you know, I think been one of their top goals, and they've done a good job of doing that. You know, keeping us healthy, you know, it's all going to play to our advantage. You mentioned that glow, that buzz in the end, which is great to start the week. And mm -hmm. you've been through big games like this before. How do you tell the younger guys or the guys that maybe haven't been on the field, Okay, you can buzz and you can glow, but now let's get to business. Absolutely, uh, you know I, I think they kind of see it uh, from the from the leaders, you know, leaders of our team. You know, they kind of see how we approach the week. You know, we'll be all excited, fired up when it's time for practice, when it's time for film study. You know, you lock in, get serious, and uh, you know it's just kind of been how it's been all year. You know, the young guys watch the older guys, and and that's that's kind of been how our program's been based. Shouldn't a program like theirs, when they win a national championship and then lose so many stars, shouldn't they take a step backward? Uh, you would think, but I mean, with the you know, you win one, it's kind of like a roller flag. The recruiting class that you bring in from having a having a top team like they had uh, previous years, you know, you bring in you know all, all the top players, so kind of keep keeps your uh, keeps your depth there, and you know, you don't really have much of a drop off. It's like looking in the mirror, the two teams, the way they're built, run the football, stop the run. Uh, sort of, sort of, kind of, you know, I would say kind of similar. Any other questions for Cam?